biography of Samuel Laduki Akintola. Chief Samuel Laduki Akintola, also known as SLA, was born on the 6th of July 1910 and died on January 15, 1966. He was a Nigerian politician, lawyer, aristocrat, and orator who was born in Ubumosho of the Western region. In addition to serving as one of the founding fathers of modern Nigeria, he was also the Ariel Nakakanfu of the Yoruba. Akintola was born into the family of Akintola, Akimbola, and Nakonke. His father was a trader and descended from a family of traders. At a young age, the family moved to Mina and was briefly educated at the Church Missionary Society School in the city. In 1922, he returned to Bumosho to live with his grandfather and subsequently attended the Baptist Day School before proceeding to Baptist College in 1925. He taught at the Baptist Academy from 1930 to 1942 and thereafter worked briefly with the Nigerian Railway Corporation. During that period, he became acquainted with H. O. Davis, a lawyer and politician, and joined the Nigerian Youth Movement where he assisted Ikoli and supported the latter to represent Lagos in the Legislative Council over the candidacy of Samuel Akinsoya, who was supported by Azikwe. He joined the staff of the Daily Service newspaper and soon became the editor in 1943 with the support of Akiola Maja, a shareholder, replacing Ernest Ikoli as editor. Akintola was also founder of Iroin Yoruba, a newspaper written in Yoruba language. In 1945, he opposed the general strike led by Azikwe's NCNC and Michael Umodu, earning the distrust of politicians like Anthony Nahoru. In 1946, he earned a British scholarship to study in the UK and completed legal studies by 1950. Akitola began his legal career working as a lawyer on land and civil matters. In 1952, he formed a partnership with Chris Ogumbanjo, Chief Body Thomas, and Michael Odesoya. After he was trained as a lawyer in the United Kingdom, Akintola returned to Nigeria in 1949 and teamed up with other educated Nigerians from the Western region to form the Action Group AG under the leadership of Chief Obafemi Awolowo. He was initially the legal advisor of the group before becoming the deputy leader in 1953 after the death of Bode Thomas. As the deputy leader of the Action Group party, he did not serve in the regional Western region government headed by the Premier Awolowo but was the Action Group Parliamentary Leader, Leader of Opposition in the House of Representatives of Nigeria. At the federal level, he served as Minister of Health and later Minister of Communications and Aviation. Decisions over the direction of strategic alliances by the party, the adoption of democratic socialism as the party's platform, and the battle for supremacy in the party led to disagreement between Chiefs Akintola and Awolowo. Akintola disagreed with Awolowo's decision not to join the coalition government. He felt the Yoruba people of the West were losing their preeminent position in business, university, and administration in Nigeria to the Igbo people of the East simply because the Igbo controlled NCNC had joined the government and the AG had not. He opposed the party's decision to adopt democratic socialism as its ideology, preferring a more conservative stance. Akintola was then accused by Chief Awolowo for trying to supplant him as leader of the party. In May 1962, with the Western House of Assembly set to remove Akintola after the party had earlier passed a vote of no confidence in the Premier in a party meeting, crisis began on the floor of the House. The Action Group party broke into two factions, leading to several crises in the Western Region House of Assembly that led to federal government headed by the Prime Minister, Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, to declare state of emergency rule in the Western Region and Chief Dr. M. A. Majakodrumi, the Federal Minister of Health, was appointed as Administrator. Eventually, Akintola was restored to power even though he had lost the legal battle with the Judicial Committee on the Privy Council, then Nigeria's highest tribunal, as Premier in 1963. In the general election of 1965, Akintola won his position as Premier not as member of the Action Group Party but as the leader of a newly formed party called Nigerian National Democratic Party NNDP which was in alliance with the Northern People's Congress, NPC, the party that then controlled the federal government. Akintola was assassinated in Ibadan, the capital of Western Region, on the day of Nigeria's first military coup of January 15, 1966, which terminated the First Republic. The coup was regarded as Young Major's coup, or the coup of the January Boys, which resulted in the assassination of many leading politicians, mostly members of the Northern People's Congress.
Akitola was the dignified orator and was responsible for completing the founding of the University of Ife, Awolowo's brainchild, and currently Obafemi Awolowo University in 1962, while still a premier in Western region. He was also involved in the development of premier hotel and other monuments. Akitola was married to Chief Mrs. Faderera Akintola and had five children, two of whom were later to become ministers of state for finance in the Nigerian Third Republic. Chief Yomi Akintola and Chief Dr. Abimbola Akintola. His youngest child, Tokumbo Akintola, was the first black boy at Eton College. A number of institutions, including Ladoki Akintola University of Technology, Ubumosho, were established in his town and other Nigerian cities as a means of remembering him.